Okay, so this example says you have 3,000 Rand. It's an investment that grows to 4,170 Rand in three years. At what semi-annual simple interest rate was the money invested? So the first thing we know is it says simple interest rate, which means we use the simple interest formula. So the standard one, the base one is F V is equal to P V 1 plus I N. Now we go, okay, it is asking what is the interest rate? So we want I to be the subject of the formula. So we'd have I is equal to future value divided by present value minus one divided by N. Now you don't need to remember all these formulas because again, you can derive them. You can work it out by just finding the subject of the formula and it'll get easier and easier with practice. Now we have the formula that we're going to use. Let's see what information we have and if we have all the information that we need. So we're going to start off with, it's a 3000 Rand investment. That means our present value is equal to 3000 Rand. And it grows to 4,170 Rand. So we have future value is equal to 4,170. And ha happens in three years. So we have N is equal to three years at the moment. Now we're leaving it like that at the moment. Remember, we always need to check and make sure that our N duration units that we use there corresponds with the interest rate units. So then we talk about at what semi-annual interest rate. So when you're going to do the interest, it's going to be I, and it's going to be semi-annual, so it's going to be a 2 there to indicate it's twice yearly. And we're going to need to figure out what this is. We don't know what it is. If that is semi-annually, you know, twice yearly, then we'll notice that our I and our N don't currently correspond. So we need to fix that. We need to fix our N. We're just going to say three times by two to get to that semi-annually situation, so half yearly. So our N would be six there in that situation. Then we're going to go through this and see, do we have everything for our formula? So we have PV, we have FV, and we have N. So we have everything for our formula, so we can go ahead and plug it in. So we're going to say I is equal to, and we're going to say I2, so we can actually see that it's going to be the semi-annual simple interest rate, is equal to, the future value is 4170, the present value is 3000, minus 1 divided by 6. And if we go ahead and work this out, it is going to be equal to 0 0.065, which is 6.5% semi-annually. Okay, so one of the things that is slightly new here is that when I'm working out the interest and I'm using it in my formula, I have started to just utilize the fact that this I is written as I subscript M, where M is the periods that we're talking about. So the semi-annual, it's the two kind of a situation. And then when I worked it out here, I put it there as the two. So that's just a slight difference to previous work. You could still do I and, you know, then work out and write it out pretty clearly to say that it's semi-annually. Okay, so this example is at what per month simple interest rate would you invest 22,500 to get 10,800 Rand interest after three years? So we're like, okay, well, that says it's simple interest. So what do we know about simple interest? We know the simple interest formula is FV is equal to PV, 1 plus I times N. And we're like, well, let's hold on for a second because we talk about total interest here. Yeah. Where is it? It's over here. It talks about the 10,800 Rand interest. So we're like, what other formula do we know that uses the big I? So capital I is equal to PV times I times N. So it's going to be one of those formulas, most likely the one that actually has the big I in it. 
then we're going to be like, okay, well, what can we read off the word problem? So the first thing is it says per month simple interest. So we know we're going to get an I-12 popping up that we need to find. We don't know what that is. We just know that it's I-12 because it's per month. And it says invest 22,500. So we know what PV is. PV is R22,500. And then we have what capital I is. The interest is 10,800. Let's put the R there just to be consistent. Okay. And now we're like, well, what do we know here? So we have PV, we have I. What else do we have? We have that it's three years. So we have N is equal to three years. Now, before we go and plug anything into the formulas, what are we going to do? We're going to check that the interest and the units of N correspond. So the interest here is in months. Currently, N is in years, so we need to change it. So we're going to say 3 times by 12. So that's going to give us 36 months. Okay, now that they correspond, we can continue on. So now we have N, we can then say, okay, we have that. So we're going to use the formula I is equal to PV times I times N, but we're going to change it so that I is the subject of the formula. So it's going to be I is equal to big I divided by PV times N. So once again, we make I the subject of the formula. To do that, we divide through by everything that it's multiplied with. And then we just plug in everything. So we have 22, well, big no there. We have 10,800. So 10,800 divided by 22,500 times by 36. And that's going to give us 0 0.013 reoccurring. So our I-12 is going to be so you times that by 100 to get the percentage, and it's going to be 1.3 reoccurring percent, and that's per month. Okay, so we've now taken the exact same question we just did, but we've just tweaked it a bit. So we've said, at what per year simple interest rate would you invest 22,500 to get the 10,800 interest after three years? So this is just going to cement the different interest rates that we discussed, the I-12 versus the I-1 and so on. So everything is pretty much the same except that per year situation. So we know we're going to use I is equal to PV times I times N. We know that the Present value is equal to R22,500, 10,800. And then we know that our N is equal to three years. Now we look at our I. So we want I1. So to get I1, remember the units of your interest need to coincide or be the same as the units of your duration. So this is in years. Our interest is going to be in years, so we don't have to change anything here. Now we can plug it into the formula. So remember, we make I the subject of the formula, and that gives us capital I divided by PV times N, which is 10,800 divided by 22,500 times by 3. And if we go work this out, we're going to get 0 0.2. One six, and if we times it by 100, that's going to give us the I is equal to 16%, and it is per annum. Simple interest. So to get 10,800 Rand with a per year simple interest or per annum simple interest, your simple interest rate needs to be 16%. And if you were doing it per month, your simple interest rate would be the 13% percent that we had seen earlier. A lie. I'm talking about the 1.3% that we just saw earlier. It was like literally just three minutes ago.